Adobe Illustrator for cartographers. It sort of looks like here that we're getting very close to what looks like a completed map. Now I don't have everything labeled. I need uh, additional labels on my map, for instance. And I'm really still not happy with the size of that uh, legend that I drew down there. It's sort of overwhelming the map. But those kinds of things, and especially the tweaks of the size of different things like the legend and so forth, are the kinds of things you're going to end up spending a whole lot of time on, making sure that everything is balanced and looks nice on your map. But rather than going ahead and spending a whole lot of time tweaking those details right now, I wanted to go ahead and move forward a little bit to wrap up the different topics that we need to address before we get into all of those details. So this time we're going to be talking about creating a north arrow, and this is pretty simple. I'm going to, as always, create a new layer, specifically to hold my north arrow. In previous eras of cartography, it was very common to make very elaborate north arrows, the compass rows, do a whole lot of art and do an extremely artistic sort of compass rows. That's really out of fashion today. I think that there is still probably room in different kinds of maps you might be producing if you are trying to really produce an artistic representation, but for the most part, uh, you do need just a rather simple north arrow to indicate the direction of north on your map. Ordinarily, of course, north is situated at the top of the map, but that might not always be the case, and so it's important to ensure that the north arrow does actually point north. So a simplistic north arrow is probably best and probably what you need for most applications just to give that designation you want to be out of the way you don't want to draw a whole lot of attention to yourself my recommendation is to never never ever ever use a default north arrow from any type of GIS software package and let me tell you that the default north arrow such as the default north arrows from ESRI's ArcGIS software package and even the top few default north arrows from that software package are all extremely easily recognizable and anybody will instantly notice that that's just one of the ESRI default north, north arrows and we don't want to use that we it, they're so easy to make it's very simple to come in and create your own north arrow and that way it's a little bit more yours and you don't have something that's obviously so generic stuck on your map. So my recommendation is that even if you're going to draw just an extremely simple north arrow, do that any day over using some generic north arrow from a GIS package. If you just want to create a very simple north arrow which will be perfectly usable in many 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 different cartographic situations, I'm just going to create a line. You already know all of the information that you really need to know to create one of these. Create a line, get the right stroke on it, and then select one of the arrowheads. And then adjust the scale of the arrowhead so that it's whatever it is that you're looking for. And then what you want to do is just go ahead and use the text tool, type in an N, you can come up with what kind of font you want. I'll make that a little bit larger so you can see the N. And then use the alignment tools to align it. Pretty simple. Maybe it's a little bit long. Group it together. Now I can stick that wherever I need it. Uh, tuck it out of the way. I actually sort of think that it would look good on this map down here. And probably I need a little box around it. since I've been putting my other objects in little boxes like that. I would like to point out while I'm doing this that the current cartographic tech the current cartographic convention is that you do not need a north arrow if you're showing your lines of latitude and longitude. If you have a graticule on there, then the north arrow becomes redundant. And uh, so I'm going to follow that convention and I think it's a good one. So don't put a north arrow on there if you are showing the lines of latitude and longitude. There's a north arrow. I think that's probably, again, taking up too much space and, and uh, is probably a little bit overwhelming. But whatever. That's just a very simple north arrow. Let me show you another thing that uh, some people want to do that is currently out of fashion, and I think it's probably correct, that if I were over here, some people might want to make a longer north arrow. Let me ungroup that first so I don't stretch that in. And then make a little circle or some variation of this anyway. Bump up the weight here.
and maybe the size of the N, whatever font you're using. And do something like that anyway. Put this little circle in here and the line going up. The current thinking on this is that this is a bad idea, that you really want it the way that I had it the last time, which is having the arrow point toward the end so that everyone knows that that is north, it's going in that particular direction, especially if you've got something and you've got other different directions on there. You know, something like that. Uh, that this is probably a bad idea. And uh, I sort of agree with that. Uh, people will want to do it, but then, okay, what's, what direction is north? I think it's probably better to have the arrowhead pointing in the north direction. Or toward, I think it's probably better to have, if you've got the arrowhead pointing toward an N, put some kind of uh, circle with the N above it. That's probably the better deal, not putting it in the middle like that. Now, how artistic can you get? You can certainly get much more artistic, but like I said, even a very simple north arrow that you draw is going to be a hundred times better than using some default or stock north arrow from some package. I don't mind, though, not going to the huge artistic extremes of the compass rows of the bygone er cartographic eras, but I do think that there's a little bit of room to do a little bit of art with the north arrow if the particular purpose of the map that you're creating allows for it. I, I sort of think that there is still a little bit of room for a little bit of artistic expression in a north arrow if it is appropriate for the purpose of the map to which it's going to be put. Let me just give you a couple of examples that I did. Uh, I had been prepping these maps for an article on the economic geography of virtual worlds and so I needed some maps of the World of Warcraft, this particular uh, online video game uh, that was being studied and so I wanted to produce some maps that would accompany the article in a particular journal and so I went ahead and did a couple of them and in this case I did go ahead and make the North Arrow a little bit more artistic you can see in both circumstances here and over here I decided to use uh, shields I thought that it was appropriate for the kind of map that I was drawing. I'm still not overwhelming. I didn't do uh, gigantic uh, compass rows or anything like that. But in order to sort of go with the theme, I did use the opportunity to create a little bit more art there with the uh, North Arrow. I think that's okay, depending on the purpose of your map. You've really got to evaluate the purpose of your map. Obviously, that would be completely uh, inappropriate on something like uh, a USGS topographic map or something like that. If the map allows it, I'm not going to get upset if you, you have a little bit of art with the uh, north arrow. Just don't let the form get out ahead of function. The function is to make sure that you're designating what direction is north on the map.